Hi, I'm Maya Bialik, and I wrote this book called Girling Up about the science of being female. And now I'm going to explain to you the science behind all the feels. I think that a good understanding of the chemistry and the biology behind a lot of different emotions gives you more information about them so that when you're having them, you don't feel helpless or out of control. Even positive feelings and exciting feelings can be intimidating if you don't know what's going on with them. There's a lot of chemicals and hormones that go through your brain and your body when you like someone. Your heart starts beating faster, sometimes your palms start sweating or your armpits start sweating and you get that kind of butterfly feeling in your stomach. A lot of that is serotonin, which is a neurochemical that makes you feel good. And a lot of it is adrenaline. That's the thing that makes you feel like ready to go and ready to do something. People talk a lot about lust. The fact is serotonin's involved in that too. And there's a really cool special hormone called oxytocin and it makes you feel super duper good. When you spend time with someone, something gets activated that's like a reward circuit. And a lot of times the chemical released is dopamine. And that kind of feels like that drug feeling when you really want to be near someone. Some of the more complicated feelings that we also experience as teenagers and even as adults are things like stress and depression. Stress is accumulated pressure on your emotional system. And over time, stress can actually be hard on your body. If you've ever been stressed out, sometimes you feel jittery or you can't sleep, you can't eat or you eat too much. That's because your body is reacting to a stressful situation and trying to protect itself. What depression is, is a neurochemical kind of negative feedback where bad feelings lead to more bad feelings. And you start to lose the amount of serotonin that normally circulates in your body that can make you feel good. And over time, your body can get depleted from serotonin. It's at times like this, when you've been feeling hopeless or depressed for several weeks, that it's probably important to talk to someone you trust because there's therapy and sometimes medications are needed to help your body get that serotonin back on track. One of the most problematic chemical storms that you can have happen in your body is when a relationship ends. What happens is you've had a lot of serotonin and a lot of oxytocin and a lot of dopamine circulating through your body. And when something comes to an end, all of those chemicals have nowhere to go and nowhere to land. A lot of what helps those chemicals get back to normal is trying to find a sense of routine and trying to distract yourself. But it's also important to remember there are still places to find joy, there are still friends who can support you, and there's always another day to try and take on the world.